Welcome back to day two of Viewer's Choice Thrift Challenge. Today is a really fun one. Uh, I had four choices that I put out this morning and I knew I had a doctor's appointment today, so I wanted to stay local, so I just went to my local savers. The challenges that were submitted that I put up for selection today were new with tag items, to thrift only from the kids section of savers, coastal grandma, and what was the other one? Oh, it was fall and Halloween items only. So those were the four choices. And today was a little bit closer than yesterday. Yesterday I thrifted the rainbow and that was really fun. If you missed the first day of the series, this will be a playlist so you can click the link in my description or at the end of this video, I'll also have the playlist linked. But today was pretty close between new with tags and coastal grandma. I have to admit, I was pretty excited when Coastal Grandma pulled out ahead. So New With Tag had 103 votes with 32% of the people voting for that. Fall Halloween items was at 19% with 62 votes. Kids Only section had just 42 votes for 13% and Coastal Grandma had 117 votes for 36%. So squeaked by with only 14 votes ahead of all new with tag. So that's what I went for and I had so much fun today. This was much more my vibe because I got to go back to all of my neutrals, except I really made sure that I didn't thrift anything in black. I was going for a really calm neutral palette, whites, creams, tans, and navies, and light blue. That's what I was going for. So in March of 2022, TikTok user Lex Nicoletta coined this term, coastal grandma. I found an article and it says, Lex Nicoletta shared details of the coastal grandmother aesthetic and why it combines flowy fabrics, beachfront homes, and a slower, easier lifestyle. This is kind of a lifestyle. It's not just about the clothing. The hashtag has received 149 million views and counting on TikTok so far. The actresses that are associated with this aesthetic are Diane Keaton and Meryl Streep. Let's head to the thrift store and find some pieces. So the first two things that I figure would be great for inspiration is to find a hat and a straw purse. So I come over to the hats. I find this cool scholar hat. I like this brand Scala. I've definitely featured this in videos before and it's only $3.79. I love the white, but I'm not crazy about the height of the hat. That definitely would have worked for the aesthetic, but it wasn't like my favorite. So I keep moving on. I go over to the bags, still looking for that natural vibe, the leather, the straw. This is a vintage Liz Claiborne bag, but it's a little smaller than I would like. These Sanooks are really cute and natural. I'm just not sure for $8 if Sanook would give me the return I'm looking for. Love these. These are universal thread by Target. But again, the price point isn't great for a return. I almost grabbed this. I just thought that Coastal Grandma may not be too much of a leopard girl. Maybe if this were a more neutral leopard, I would have grabbed it. Found this hat. In the end, I end up not getting it. I'll explain more later. I loved this belt. I thought the natural fibers on this were great, just $2.99. The shirt underneath I ended up putting back even though it was pretty because it was black and I was trying to stay away from black. I really wanted to get this J. Crew in this bone color, but there was some staining on the shoulder. I initially put it in my cart, but at the register, I put it back. This is a beautiful white cotton top, very versatile piece, great price point, and great style. I'm excited to share that with you later. That does come home with me. I'm thinking about this denim, long denim jumper, this Fresno. This is definitely vintage, 100% cotton, extra large. The price is good as well. I like this little navy vibe. I think the colors might be a little bold, but that could work. And this little Knox Rose piece, I think, is really pretty as well. I think of all of these, I really do love this. But I think I want even more neutral. So I feel like these two are the best contenders. Definitely could grab this. And this, I'm not sure about, but I love it. I'm definitely hunting for natural fabric. So this vintage Bill Blass, 100% silk. This is nice and easy, great layering piece. I think this is gonna come home with me. I 
feel as though I will be a complete failure if I don't go home with linen pants for this. This is a plus size for just four dollars. Great price for me to brand, and it kind of fits my color. <laughs> I have to take these home. Stain, but I think it's just the pocket for J. Jill. Love linen. That's perfect. These are really cute too, but I just don't think the resale on Old Navy is worth it. I think this could work. I never look at linen, so this is a good example of how these challenges kind of force me to go to different places. I actually love these pillows up here. I'm so weary about buying pillows, but I love this. Not for Coastal Grandma, just for Coastal Lori. <laughs> this is really pretty. doing okay but the one thing I haven't found yet is a nice tote bag with just a big straw tote so I'm on the hunt for that. I really do love this with all of these colors. There's kind of excessive wear up here. Otherwise, this would be such a great choice, I think. I love how all the colors come together. It's so pretty. It's too bad. I'm so excited to jump right in and share with you some of the pieces that I picked up. We are gonna start with some of the bathing suits. I picked up two swimsuits. One is this beautiful white and cream colored striped one, and then this deep blue. Uh, this particular one is a brand that is new to me. It is called Albion, and the comps on this brand are really good. Let me get out of the focus here. Yes, a lot of the sold comps on these bathing suits are between $30 and $60. So I was really excited to stumble upon this. It was just $5.99 before my discount, which was 20% at the register. And same with this. This is Sea and Shore which I believe is sold at Target. These are both just to me, classic, beautiful, coastal grandma vibe. Um, and when you look at all the pieces that I picked out for today's haul, um, what I tried to do is get stuff that were easy pieces that could work together. So for example, these bathing suits are beautiful on their own. However, if you pair them with this piece right here, which is the um, this Claudia Richard piece, it looks absolutely beautiful as a cover-up. This can be a tunic, it can be worn on its own with a tank underneath, or it could be worn over these bathing suits for a really beautiful vibe. And I think that's part of this aesthetic, is just easy pieces, you know, uncomplicated, relaxed, flowy, things that can work with multiple pieces in your wardrobe. And so that's what I was also going for today. So I had to get a couple bathing suits for the coastal look. And so this I absolutely love. It's an extra large. Uh, it has some little lace eyelet detail, not eyelet, just I guess lace trim. And you can also gather it right here. So beautiful on its own, beautiful as a cover up. And this was just $3.99, I think. You also saw me with this silk top. I thought this was really beautiful. And again, I think a very versatile piece. You could wear this on its own, tucked in with a pair of jeans. You could wear a, like a linen blazer over it. It's 100% silk, vintage, Bill Blass. 
and it is gorgeous. It's a size large. And this, I think, was also $5.99. You could also unbutton it with something underneath. And this, I think, would pair really nicely with the linen pants as well, or with denim. I didn't pick up any denim. I was looking at denim. I liked that denim jumpsuit, that dress, um, but I ended up going with some different fabrics instead. I did struggle with the purse and the hat. I ended up not getting either. So there was a hat in that blue comforter that I was considering buying. And then when I got to the register, I wasn't sure if I had a 20% off coupon and I hate to shop at Savers without it. So the manager came over and he, hit a few buttons and he said, yes, you have a coupon and he applied it to my order. But once he did that, I couldn't go back into the transaction. So we were gonna have to void everything I had already rung in or I was just going to have to pay full price for the other items or leave them behind. I decided to leave them behind, but that blue comforter was so pretty and I wanted that just as like a throw blanket. Um, and then the hat I decided to leave behind. Um, but I have this hat at home, which I believe is for sale in my Poshmark closet, which I think is absolutely beautiful and really goes with this vibe. I especially love this with the bathing suit. Isn't that so cute together? I also think it looks great with this top. So this is exactly the style that I would have picked up if they had it at the store, but I had it at home. So I got to share that with you here. They also did not have a straw bag. So I decided to just pick up this tote. This to me is what uh, the professional coastal grandma would wear. This is leather. It's in a bone color, very simple shoulder bag, one strap. This would be great for a little cafe date if you were gonna go and get some work done and you want to slip your laptop in here and you left your straw bag at home. I think this would really work. I just think this is so well made. And the brand is Alberta Di Canio, made in Italy. So there are a few tiny marks on here, but I just took a baby wipe and I got mostly everything off and this is just beautiful. When I first saw this, I wasn't sure how it would work because it was one strap. I looked to see if it was missing a strap and like if this would fall forward, but it's really just the design of it. And it actually is really comfortable. It actually goes nice with my thrifted Mary Mecco silk dress that I love. Okay, back to the clothes. This was the pair of the Beta Brand pants that I found. These were great. And this also reminds me of something that fits right in with this aesthetic. So Beta Brand pants, I'll show you the tag. These always sell pretty consistently for me between $25 and $30. These are actually a medium petite, but they're that beautiful neutral tan color. And the whole idea of these pants is that they feel like yoga pants, but they're like professional casual pants, like business casual pants. So they have the, the pockets in the back. So if you work from home, you just want to feel a little bit pulled together. Uh, Beta Brand is a great brand. And I don't think I've ever thrifted these in this color. I found them in navy blue and black, but I think this is my first time finding them in tan and I think they fit right in with this vibe. So this in the bag is like professional coastal grandma. I also wanted to pick up some sunglasses, but I ended up settling on these blue glass, uh, blue light glasses. So you're gonna see the reflection of the blue light. These are really tough with um, on camera, but I love the shape of these so much. So I'm gonna come in close to get out some of the blue glass, but I think these are so something Diane Keaton would wear and they are so hip. I love them. These were $3.99, they're dirty. I need to clean them up a little bit, but I think this goes so well. The tortoise shell I think is just a classic neutral and it goes with all of these colors. So I had to grab those. One rack came out and I was able to pick up these two beautiful linen pieces. Um, I was looking for linen, I was looking for um, silk, cotton, all those natural fibers. I wasn't in the mood for wool today, but I suppose in the winter, wool would work great on the coast as well. This is Sigrid Olsen and this was new with tag. That was one of the things that was in the running for today is new with tag pieces. I was so excited to find this in this beautiful blue color with the peplum drop waist, 100% linen, machine washable. Again, easy, flowy not restrictive. And then this J. Jill is beautiful as well. And this has almost like a little checkerboard pattern to it. This is not new with tag, but it's a size medium. And I also think this would work great as a beach cover up over the bathing suits, or it would work as a tunic with like a nice pair of long flowy linen pants in like a tan or navy blue. I absolutely love this top. This was $7.49. This was $8.49 before the 20%. 
but I was so happy to find these beautiful staples. Those to me, like I had to come home with some linen. I decided to keep this in the haul for today. If you watched yesterday's haul, you might remember that I showed these flax pants. So these are from yesterday, but I couldn't find any long linen pants today. So I wanted to bring these back. I got these for my, one of the blue colors in my thrift rainbow thrift day. But Flax is a great coastal grandma brand. Um, it's a lag and look like CP Shades, those types of brands, Bryn Walker. I think a lot of those brands work well with this aesthetic. So I just wanted to pull in the navy blue to go with the palette that I have. These are the J. Jill pants that I found in, in store when I first looked at them, and I'm not sure if it's showing on the screen. You can see where the park pockets are, and I thought it was like stained pink, like dye transfer. But when I looked at them, I noticed that they were lined with um, this tan color. Now when I got home and looked at these closely, it looks like, I don't know if they came like this or if somebody just added this, like maybe they were a little too see-through when they were on, so somebody added that tan fabric. I don't think that came from J. Jill. But these are J. Jill Love Linen. So there's Pure Jill and then there's Love Linen, and both of them a lot of the times are linen pieces. And J. Jill, I think, is a brand that I find all the time at the thrift stores. Let me know if this is a brand that you can find easily, but I think that this brand goes very well with this aesthetic. And two of the pieces from today's haul are J. Jill. You don't really think of athletic wear, at least I don't think of athletic wear when I think of this aesthetic. I did find a pair of these Lululemon pants today. So I wanted to share them because I thought if this aesthetic uh, had athletic wear. I think these pants would fit right in. These are the Studio Crops from Lululemon, and I love them in this like army green, this like khaki green color, and the tag is like brand new. These are like brand new, they are size 10. I'm going to try these on and see if they work for me. They are in the crop length, and this is just a more relaxed athletic pant. Instead of wearing like tight yoga pants, these are great to wear to the yoga studio. They're great for walking, and I figured I could sneak them into this haul because they kind of work for me. You also saw me grab this basket, which I think works so well for this aesthetic. I wanted to get a few housewares because as I was researching the coastal grandma, you know, I read a lot about how it's not just about clothes. It's a way of life, it's a style in your home. So I really wanted to bring this home, and I thought this, uh, basket, this natural weave was just so beautiful. And then I found these mugs, which I thought were really fun. I feel like maybe oh, just a simple white mug would work for this look, but then I saw this and it had all the colors of the sea and sand and sky, and I just thought these were so beautiful. And these were priced at three for $4.99, so I grabbed them. I have a problem with mugs. My husband has a policy, one in, one out, and I always break the rules and bring things in, and then they never leave. So I think I am going to list these or maybe I'll just keep one because one of them has like a slight little crack on the inside. So maybe I'll keep that one and then list the other two. But I think these are beautiful. They are not marked, but they are they're heavy. But they're gorgeous and I think they fit the vibe. If you're having coffee ocean front in your linen with this mug, it's a vibe. I also grabbed this belt, which was just $2.99. I think this would work really well if somebody was wearing like a maxi dress, like a linen maxi dress, and you just wanted to cinch it in at the waist. This would be perfect. This is about the darkest thing that I got was the wood on this belt. I love the edge of this, the woven look. I think it's just gorgeous. Again, that natural feel, that easy vibe, so pretty. Um, I think this could also even work if somebody wanted to like cinch this, wear this as a belt. I was definitely trying to think of how these pieces would work together. And then lastly, I got these adorable shoes. I was agonizing over the shoes because I found a lot that I felt really felt the aesthetic, but because I was purchasing for resale, I wanted to also find a brand that I could sell and make a profit. And I also wanted to find things that were in good condition and not that expensive. So I showed a few of the Universal Thread shoes. They were really cute. The Sanooks were cute. I thought those were a nice, coastal vibe, but they were $7.99 and I don't typically make a lot when I sell Sanooks, but I found these and I can't, help me out with the name of this. I wanna say Teeks, but I know it's not that. It's T-K-E-E-S. 
and I, these cleaned up so nicely. There were a couple marks on the sole, but I literally just took a wipey, cleaned it, and I also just took a damp uh, paper towel and swiped on the suede, and now these look like brand new. They're a size 11. They're flats, and I'm expecting to get between $30 and $35 for these, and I think these were $7.49 plus the 20% off, and again, they work really nice with the silk, they work with the blue linen, they work with the white linen, just a really versatile pair of shoes. They even look really cute with the bathing suit. So I had so much fun finding all these things that would work with one another for this aesthetic. I think this was one of my favorite challenges. I can see myself in the future just going in and migrating towards these styles. And I can also see myself wearing this style and living this life. I said to my husband, I love the Coastal Grandma aesthetic, the linen pants, the straw bags. All I need now is a house on Cape Cod. It's not really about where you live. It's more of how you live. This aesthetic is like a breath of fresh air. So I had so much fun hunting for these pieces. I did get one last thing that I wanted to share with you. There were a bunch of these boxes at the front of the store. And um, this is a collaboration between Aaron and Janie and Jack, which I, Janie and Jack is um, like the higher end store to Gymboree. I think they're the same owners and it's a children's store. So the, this is a footed one piece. The price tag on the back of this is $50 right here this collaboration for a onesie, like a little sleeper, $50. These were at the front of the store for $5. I bought four of them. So there were two different styles and I thought it kind of fit the vibe. <laughs> so I bought them. And I actually have a friend who's having a baby girl. So I plan to ship a couple of these. Look at how beautiful with the ruffle. So pretty. And then that was one style. That was my favorite one. And then this box as well. So I bought two to sell and two to give as gifts. And this one has like little elephants in the front. I tried to look up the comps, but I couldn't find any comps at quick glance. And I was, I was a little bit in a hurry trying to pump these videos out every day. Um, but there were like 15 of these boxes at the front of the store. And part of me wanted to buy them all. And then part of me was like, go home and do your challenge. Don't worry about the baby clothes. But anyway, those are really beautiful. And that wraps up my Coastal Grandma haul. I had a blast with this one. Let me know what your favorite piece is. Let me know if you are using Coastal Grandma and some of your key terms for the items that you're reselling. And let me know if this is an aesthetic that you yourself would love. I think it's hard to not love this. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to like this video if you had a good time and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you wanna join my community, see more of these viewer choice challenges. I will be back tomorrow with a new challenge. Be sure to head over to my Instagram to vote for tomorrow's challenge and I will be back real soon with another video. Thanks everybody, bye.